My baby girl is all grown up. I'm just kidding. I'm not that mom. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and click that big old red subscribe button down below, and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload, because Melina's starting kindergarten, and I'm kind of a wreck. And it'll be fun to watch the fallout. Some of you noticed that I have previously referenced Melina being in kindergarten. And then I have also mentioned that she is starting kindergarten this year. And the truth is Melina is repeating kindergarten, sort of. Melina was in a private preschool for the last couple of years. And she completed their pre-kindergarten program in one year. And the school decided she needed to start kindergarten. And we said that was fine. We never had any intention of having her go directly into first grade because by Fairfax County regulations, she was not old enough to start kindergarten when the private school started her. That Melina's birthday is in October and the cutoff date for kindergarten was September, the end of September. So she was a few days shy of meeting it for starting kindergarten last year. And so we went ahead and let her register for kindergarten in the private school, knowing full well that she would probably be repeating kindergarten. We have explained it to her by saying that preschool, where she was before was preschool kindergarten, and now she's going into big girl real kindergarten. Here's the reason we decided to do this. She's like me, I'm really bossy. It's not a, the best trait to have, but, but it is a trait that she has. But she also is very sensitive and very kind. She's really at opposite ends of the spectrum um, in a lot of ways. And so what we decided is that we could teach her the difference between right and wrong and the way you treat people versus how people treat you. And so we decided that if she were a little older starting school, that she would be more of a leader and she is definitely a leader. She would be more helpful and kind and sweet and we could guide her in the kind of person that she wants to be as opposed to if she were younger and more easily manipulated. So we decided to have her wait and start kindergarten when she was almost six, which is by far the best thing, best decision that we made. We talked to a lady in our neighborhood who's a third grade teacher and she said, honestly, in all of the kids that had gotten held back in all of her time teaching, she said never once has a parent regretted holding a child back versus a chunk of them do regret moving them forward. So we figured it would be a smart decision to make and, and we're pleased with the decision. So how did the first day of school go? It was fun. She was so excited. The first day of school actually started the day before. My parents at their church, they had the blessing of the backpack ceremony, which is so cute where all the kids bring their backpacks and the minister gave them prayer beads to put in their backpacks for when they were scared, they would know that people were thinking of them and loved them. And we actually are very close with lots of people in my parents' church. So it, it really was a very touching ceremony. And I'll insert a clip of that here. Now, because there are other people in the service, I obviously am not gonna put the other kids on the video, just Melina, so if it's cropped weird, you'll understand why. Yeah. What else do you like? Hanging out with your friends at, in the cafeteria at lunchtime? No, but my favorite part is that I have lots of friends and I already have friends of half the class. That's awesome. <laughs> The next morning we got up, Melina was so excited. Mauricio woke her up and said, it's the first day of school. And she just jumped right out of bed with a big smile on her face. And she was so adorable. And we got her dressed in the outfit that I showed y'all a month ago or so. And then we, you know, had breakfast and took pictures and I got her lunch ready. Well, I had prepped her lunch the night before. I actually sent out joking texts to some of my friends and about 
lunch prep because now I'm prepping lunches for three instead of two. And it's a whole new lunch prep world for me there. But um, there was a little bit of stress as to like what to pack for lunch and and what if she doesn't like what I packed for lunch. But we ended up getting her some simple things that we knew she would love. Maybe not the, the number one healthiest choices, but I was more concerned about her eating than what she was eating because Valina is a super, super picky eater. Super picky. So then we took pictures with Melina and I had gotten this little sign off Amazon. One of the many things that I purchased that I didn't need to purchase, but I'm glad I did. I'll, I'll probably use it probably until she graduates from high school. If I know me. Are you excited? Yeah. What are you excited about? New school today. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Mauricio and I went in to work late and took her to school. Molly, are you excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah. I'm really actually really nervous. <laughs> Oh, she was so excited. It just, oh, I just loved it. And at school, we waited with her in the theater with the other kindergarten parents. If your parent was there, you met in one place. If your parent wasn't there, you met in another. And then all of the rest of the kids met in a third location at the school. And so we walked with Melina down to her classroom, but we weren't allowed to go in with her. And oh my goodness, that child, like she saw a couple of her friends from the neighborhood and she was off. And there was no like saying goodbye, no hugs. And then Mauricio got like all teary. It was so cute. Handling this okay, honey. Are you gonna cry for real? No. And it was, it was really adorable. And then we, we left her, we went to work and things went back to normal. And now she is a big kindergartner and I'm a little overwhelmed that my baby who was this big, she was this big like yesterday, she's all grown up and, and she is, she's starting to have like real conversations and telling me about her day at school and, she loves it and she loves hanging out with our friends and and I'm really glad that we made the decision to go ahead and put her in kindergarten this year because it was the smartest thing for us to do. It really was. She will be so much better off and it gives us another year to save for college because our little girl is going to college paid for in cash. That's the plan and we're sticking to it. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest video and this video is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.